current use is significantly higher than the low levels of use seen in the late 80s slash early 90s. Cannabis. Pattern 4. Prevalence shows only one peak in the late 1990s or early 2000s, or the late 70s for tranquilizers, followed by a decline and stability. Ecstasy, crack, tranquilizers, slash sedatives, not medical. Pattern 5. Prevalence was very low and stable for decades, reaching an all-time low in recent years. Heroin. Track and emergent drugs. The OSD UHS regularly includes new questions about emergent drugs. New to the 2017 cycle was a question about illicit fentanyl use. The survey shows that about 1% of high school students report using fentanyl in the past year, repping about 5,800 high school students in Ontario. The OSD UHS began to track the use of synthetic cannabis, more commonly known as spice or K2, in the 2013 cycle. In 2017, about 2% of students in grades 7 through 12, repping about 13,800 students in Ontario, used synthetic cannabis in the past year. There has been no significant change in use since 2013. The 2017 past year prevalence estimate for methadrone, which is bath salts, among high school students, which was first tracked in the 2011 cycle, is suppressed due to an extremely low value. Use of this synthetic drug has remained very low and stable since monitoring first began. Thus, there's no evidence that it is measurably diffused into the mainstream student population. Tobacco and Alternative Smoking Devices Overview In 2017, about 7% of students in grades 7 to 12, an estimated 63,800 in Ontario, report smoking cigarettes more than just a few puffs during the past year. About 2% of students an estimated 2000 sorry an estimated 21300 smoke cigarettes on a daily basis the dramatic downward trend in cigarette smoking that began in the early 2000s appears to have halted as estimates have remained at about 7 to 9% in recent years since 2011 males 8% are significantly more likely than females 6% to smoke tobacco cigs the prevalence of cig smoking significantly increases with grade, reaching 15% among 12 graders. About 3% of all students, an estimated 21,300 in Ontario, report smoking contraband cigs in the past year. Among past year smokers, 43% report smoking contraband cigs. About 1 in 10, 11% students in grades 7 to 12, an estimated 80,800 in Ontario, report using more than just a few puffs of an e-cig, with or without nicotine in the past year. Males, 13%, are more likely than females, 8%, to use e-cigs. Among the grades, students in 11th and 12th grade are most likely to use... Let me say that again. Among the grades, students in 11th and 12th grade are most likely to use... Over one-third, 40%, of past year e-cig users... Ah... Over one-third, 40%, of past-year e-cig users report using e-cigs without nicotine. Over one-quarter, 28%, of users report using e-cigs with nicotine. 19% report using both types, and 13% report not knowing what type they used. About 6% of students in grades 7 to 12, which is 46,600 students in Ontario, Reports smoking more than just a few puffs from a water pipe, hookah, in the past year. Among high school students who use a water pipe, over one-third, 38%, usually smoke only cannabis in the water pipe. Almost one-third, 31%, usually smoke only tobacco. 21% smoke both substances, and 10% usually smoke another substance. Smokeless tobacco, aka chewing tobacco, dipping tobacco, snuff, is used by about 5% of students in grades 7 to 12, an estimated 40,800 in Ontario, with males, 8%, more likely to use than females. The most common source of tobacco cigs reported by students who smoke is a friend or family member. 
The most common source of e-cig reported by users is trying one or borrowing one from a friend. 